My name is Yehuda Stolov. I'm the executive director of the Interfaith Encounter Association, uh, the, in short, the IA. The IA was established about 11 and a half years ago with the, uh, the idea to use interfaith dialogue as a tool for peace building, which is a very unusual approach. But when we were looking at the, at the conflict in the Holy Land, we said first, the Holy Land is extremely small. The whole distance between the Mediterranean Sea and the Jordan River is never more than 60 miles. So we are talking about a neighborhood. And in this neighborhood, we have uh, two major nationalities and three major religions, maybe four if you count the Druze. Uh, and these people need to, to learn to get along. And it has to be on the grassroots level, on the, com on the personal level, and on the communal level, because they live side by side. The, the, dis the distance between an Israeli and a Palestinian is never more than several tens of miles, and many times it's a few yards. So in this situation, when, this, when the relations are bad, uh, no political arrangement can be sustained over time. So the key to, to, uh, to be able to develop any sustainable arrangement here is, uh, is developing the good relations between the people. But the good news is that we have all these negative views that we have of the other have very, very little to do with reality and are the result of ignorance, not of, uh, of, uh, under, of knowing the other. And in this situation, we need to, to to create an, uh, an opportunity for people to really get to know the other. Now, when you bring the people together and you tell them nothing, after 15 minutes, they fight about politics, which is not a good idea if you want to connect them. So we first, we say we don't have any political views as an organization. And second, we don't uh, discuss political issues, at least not officially. Of course, when people know each other later, they can talk about anything. But it's very important in the beginning to avoid this type of uh, conversations. We discover many similarities between the different traditions, and this is definitely connecting. And it's a, very, it's a, it's a kind of revelation for people who are new to dialogue. And um, we are able to discuss differences in a way that not only does not threaten the conversation, but help construct it and enrich it. So through that, we train ourselves to develop friendships with people that we disagree with. Um, so maybe this is, uh, you know, like in a nutshell, what we do. The, the relations with uh, the Golden Institute started from the beginning. And uh, I, personally, I was uh, very happy with, uh, with the, the meetings that I attended. I mean, all the people who came there were people who were actually organizing activities. Uh, and it was a good opportunity to learn from each other because maybe people had different approaches and they were working in different contexts and, and it was a very enriching experience. Because I think, I think it's the only way forward. Uh, and, and I mean, this is one part. The one part is that I think I, I came across something that works and when most of the other things don't work. Um, so in, in a way it's kind of, I feel like uh, committed. I mean, I have to do it because I know how. Um, it's like the, the, this boy that stuck his thumb in the, the hole. I mean, he was around, what, can, what, what could you do? Uh, this is one, one direction to answer. And another direction is that there's a, a lot, a lot of satisfaction in that. Because, you know, I, I now when I read the, the, the news, mostly on the internet, I don't bother reading newspapers or watching TV, but I read them on the internet and, and, and I say, okay, okay, these negative things, they happen. But I know about so many more positive things that also happen. So even though they are not uh, reported, but they still happen and they change the reality. And, uh, and, and I can see the, the growth in the activity. So, I mean, there's a lot of satisfaction in that. And being able to make my living out of that is, is kind of blessing that I thank God for. <laughs>